This is the Adelaide Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Redshaw. And you are watching CCP Podcasting. Make sure you like and subscribe because you do not want to miss what these guys are doing. That's for sure. That's for Red Shaw. What is happening, friends of CCP Podcasting? Welcome to uh, Inside the Indies. I'm Chris Page. The blank screen below me, that's John Cable. He'll be uh, joining us here in just a few minutes. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, excuse me, Monday evening. Uh, I know that we are. Uh, we've got a lot to unpack tonight. It is Riot City Wrestling's Brutality 2024. Shout out to Angus Dacey for getting this one out to us. Uh, before we get started, let me uh, cruise through our, uh, our our shameless plugs, right? Because, you know, we have a lot going on here at CCP Podcasting. Uh, first thing I want to talk to you about is Hope is Wonderful. Uh, it is a show that I am uh, ecstatic to be able to produce for Travis Orndorff. It's airing on the Paul Orndorff Legacy page, which is uh, right there on the graphic, guys. So go head on over to YouTube, uh, type in at Paul, or P-A-U-1 Orndorff, and uh, it'll take you right to where you need to be to catch everything that is not only Hope is Wonderful, but is uh, everything Paul Orndorff, Mr. Wonderful. Uh, I can go ahead and tell you guys it's not a typical podcast. This is one that is uh, it's deep. Uh, it's it's real. It's it's I don't know how else to say it. You need to go and give it a give it a watch. It'll change your life. So I'm not not kidding you. Uh, Friday, we've got uh, Seth Leverett. Uh, he's a personal trainer out of uh, the West Coast, the California area. He's going to be the guest. Uh, as you can see, there's him right there on the on the graphic as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a solid project to be a part of. Uh, and one of the many uh, things that, that has given to me since we have pivoted our platform to, you know, independent wrestling and, and professional wrestling all the way around. Uh, another podcast that I'm happy to be able to say that I'll be producing is Shooting the Cannon with Bryce Cannon. That is coming soon to the Bryce's YouTube page, which is at Real Bryce Cannon. So why don't you head over there and give that account a subscribe. It is free. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, why not? Do that as well. CCP Podcasting Productions uh, 5890. Type that bad boy in. Hit the, hit the subscribe button because we are pushing closer and closer to 1,000, uh, and it is uh, a treat to be able to do this off of independent wrestling and, uh, you know, maintain our, our trajectory of where we're headed. We've got all kinds of things going on beyond the bell, turning into one of the biggest passion projects of all time. Uh, we're looking at May. Uh, coming up this Friday, you will stand up and clap for the hoochie daddy narcissism is going to be on beyond the bell it is a thoroughly entertaining conversation and uh, i believe we played a game of how many times it could pop me because that was the first interview that i've conducted where it was in character uh so it's it's fun it's it's going to be an interesting show i hope you guys enjoy it because i know i enjoyed putting it together uh we've got rico gonzalez coming up on the 10th uh, followed by Bryce Cannon on the 17th. And then we got Josh Fields from IWE Pro on the 24th. And we end the month with Dion Summers. Uh, shout out to, to Dion. Uh, went down with injury over the weekend at a show. Wishing you a speedy recovery. And the same for Bryce. I know that Bryce is uh, preparing for a knee surgery. So we're sending you positive vibes, guys. Uh, and we hope you guys get back in the ring just as soon as possible. If that's not enough... Uh, June is even loaded, more loaded. Uh, Bobby Bishop from Australia, uh, Zach Reynolds from Australia. And we got Chance Prophet. We've got Kirby. Car- I've always bought, butcher your last name, Kirby. Kirby C. Uh, from Reality of Wrestling. Book of T's Fred ends the month of June. July is uh, already shaping up to be a busy one, and one that we are looking forward to because, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to have Mike Knox on. Uh, That's a a big get for us. And it's one that is going to be a pretty solid uh, solid interview. Shout out to Mr. Knox, uh, a new daddy. Just had a baby. Uh, His wife had a baby a couple weeks ago. 
So uh, fatherhood is is on the 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 is in the mix for him, but we're looking to to set up our 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 time so where we can sit down and talk to him about everything that's going on. We're gonna talk to WWE stuff. We're gonna talk about his impact run. We're gonna talk about his current run in the NWA. Uh, next Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. It's movie night right here on the channel. I'm gonna chill out and watch No Holds Barred. I haven't seen that in about 10 years. Maybe a little bit longer, to be perfectly honest. Uh, shout out, Max Stone. We see you. Uh, that will be at 7 p.m. next Friday night. I'm trying to do uh, a little bit of you know, different things for, for the guys and gals that uh, support us here on our channels. And This is just going to be a fun show. It won't see the light of day on YouTube. It'll just be a Twitch exclusive, uh, and it's going to be fun. Uh, I want to say... Guys, we got merch. Uh, we have a lot of colors with our merch. Uh, the links are going to be down below in the description uh, of the video, and I'm dropping in chat here in just a little bit. Uh, T-shirts, mugs, stickers. We've got hoodies coming. Uh, there's going to be an amendment to the mug and an amendment to the T-shirts. Uh, right now, the T-shirts are blank on the back, but on the back of the shirts, uh, once the amendment's made, it's going to say professional wrestling brings people together. And the same will be on the mug. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing those finished products, and I've, I've got mine coming. They're already in the mail, I believe, and it'll be cool to, uh, to drink from a CCP podcasting mug. Uh, so if you feel like it and you want to you uh, show some support to us, uh, go ahead and buy a shirt, man. Pick it up. Uh, there, like I said, there's not a color scheme that, that we didn't hit. And by we, I mean Dark Horse Jacks over on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, solely responsible for getting the merchandise up off the ground for us. Uh, and has done that for uh, Frankie the Mobster uh, and a couple other independent talents. So, indie guys, if you're watching and you don't have merch at Dark Horse Jacks, hit her up. Tell her I sent you. Uh, and, and you guys will be able to work something out uh, and, and get you a, a store up and going. Uh, she is tremendous. Uh, I've got nothing but positive things to say about her. Uh, and I know that she will go out of her way to, uh, to help you guys out, get your stores up off the ground, and uh, get you some designs together. Like She's really good at what she does. Uh, like I said, tell her I sent you, uh, and I'm sure that she'll, she'll give you a friend price. Uh, let's get to why we're here tonight, and it's not the merch. Uh, I'm going to have to click the button and do the thing. Hey, John has just made it in. Uh, how are you, bud? I just got through all the plugs. Yeah, I saw that. I'm doing well, doing well. Uh, I had to uh, pick up my daughter. She went to Cape Canaveral to see NASA today. She's been very excited, and uh, we finally got her home. Everything was great, and she had a good trip. So now I'm ready to sit down and enjoy a bunch of wrestling. I know that shit's right. I'm fixing our screen right now. Um, John, uh, let me get your, your thoughts on all things CCP podcasting right now, man. I just went and ran the list. There's a lot that uh, that's happening, and there's a lot of a lot of things going on. And, uh, you know, we always say uh, you, you guys know what we're telling you. It's what we're not telling you. Uh, that's really going to blow your mind when some of these other announcements hit. Uh, what are you thinking, man? Uh, here we are. We're like a year deep into this, I think, at this point. And yet, here we are doing the thing that we've been passionate about this whole time. We've been doing exactly what we wanted to do, and I'm really happy to be on this journey with you. Hopefully soon I will be able to pull more of the weight from you so we can do even more stuff <laughs> and, uh, and get a lot more of this product out. We've got so many things in the can and so much coming down the line, you guys. If you have not done so already, follow the links to Behind the Curtain our discord server get with us back here behind this curtain is secrets and fun stuff going on we've got new drops coming for the next several months we've got new guests we've got new merch we've got more merch coming there's going to be so much stuff going on and this next year is going to be phenomenal and yes max cape canaveral is super dope she got to see a launch this morning and everything is great she was very excited about it <coughs> i you know <coughs> Excuse me, I agree 100%. <coughs> I've been to Cape Canaveral. It's a, it's a fun time, uh, especially if you've never been before, so I bet you she had a blast, especially if it was her first time Dude. going. She is eight, and she loved it. She had a great time. 
You know why we're here tonight, bud? I we, absolutely we, do. Listen, we are here for some brutality from Riot City Wrestling. Uh, it's become a staple uh, here on our platform once a month. Like this is one show or one company that we'll uh, we'll push shit off for uh, to be able to watch. Yeah, a new no show. questions. <laughs> uh, right, and have like it's. It's, it's just one of those like things. Like this week, we're, we we knew it was coming. We knew it would be here. We knew that they had the show and that JC would get it together and put it out. But, like, we've got stuff in the in the run lineup ready to go, and this is definitely the priority. Oh, no doubt. Uh, this show headlined tonight by Delta and Jet Armstrong for the uh, – uh, the the Jesus Christ! I'm drawing a blank on their their world title. Uh, the unified? The, no, it's the grand championship. They they that's yeah the grand right. championship. They've got uh, six man tag with our boy Red Shaw. He uh, welcomed us in to the show tonight. Uh, we we had him on a live stream a couple weeks ago, uh, or maybe about a week or so ago, and it was it's always a good time to catch up with the big man. Uh, from Adelaide, he's he is uh, one of those guys that I will he probably uh, like rolls his eyes every time I give him as much credit as I do for where we've come and and how we've gotten here. But uh, realistically, it started with him. Like our our beyond the bells, he was the guy that said I'd love to do it, uh, and was the first guy to say I'd love to do it, and. From there, we got to talk to Katie Trey. We've got to talk to Angus Dacey. Uh, I'm going to be reaching out to some more cats uh, down in, in Riot City. Um, I really want to get Banjo Powers on a show in Violet Blitz oh, uh, at some yep. point. I'd love for any of the Powers group to get on. That would um, be great. You know, there's there's a lot, and I definitely want to get, uh, eventually I want to get Matt Hader on the show just uh, so I can watch you squirm. <laughs> I think it would be funny. Um, let's do it, man. We got two hours and sixteen minutes. It means we'll be wrapping up about nine thirty tonight, guys. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit later run uh, than usual. Uh, if you're ready, man, I'm ready. We can make this thing happen. I'm ready because you haven't even talked about the matches I'm looking forward to. No, let's get into. Well, which ones are you looking forward to? Because see, I don't know the whole card. The one I'm looking forward to the most. Is Chris Basso and Nick Armstrong finally getting in a one-on-one? That's right. That is on this show. That story. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one I want to see more than anything. Yeah, I want to see Delta take on Jed Armstrong. Yeah, I want to see Red Shaw in that six-man. Yeah, I want to see Amber and Katie Trey. Yes, I want to see the the big tag uh, matchup. Yes, I want to see the Emerald Crown four-way. Dude, yes, I want to see all those things. But – Chris Basso and Nick Armstrong one on one in a ring. It's the first time since the bullshittery and the fuckery that Basso put him through. Oh, dude, I am I'm a hundred percent in on that match. Let's let's talk about that real quick before we get into the show because they that that program uh, we, our first show was that clusterfuck ladder match uh, that we got to check out. And, the collider, yeah, man, and yeah. that was like the spark that lit the asshole on fire. <laughs> It sure was. That was a nice way of putting it. Uh, but this story with uh, with Basso and Jet has probably been going for five or six months now, uh, if not longer. a little bit longer. It's been going longer than that. Yeah, it's more yeah. like eight months at this point. Uh, so seeing it come into a head, seeing it culminate, let's let's go, man. Let's make this happen in three, two, yep. one, play. Oh, we're starting off with a recap. And as always, great production work. I believe Jimmy C has something to do with their production stuff. Am I right? Isn't that what Angus was telling us? I, I think that's what Daisy said, yeah. So shout out to to Mr. C. Great intro clips. There's your boy, Matt Hader. I gotta give Hader credit. You know, for all the bullshit that I that I talk about Hader, 
He's really good in the ring. God, he's a douchebag. Like, I can imagine everybody in the locker room, when he comes out of that curtain, <laughs> they just want to roll out and crush him. That's all ego, baby. That's all that is. The Amber Katie Trey match looks really good, too. Like, that's going to be a hell of a brawl. So, I, I talked to, when I say talk to, John, you know, let me be specific, uh, through DMs with, with Mr. Trey. And uh, after the first, after the Fringe show, and uh, I expressed how fucking stoked we are for, for to see where that goes with Amber. Mm -hmm. And he didn't give me any spoilers, but he's just like, just wait. <laughs> So I'm here I'm, for I'm sure. <clears throat> that looks like a brutal ass six man too. So what I didn't quite what I don't quite understand is is how we get Delta and Jet Armstrong here because Jet has not been on a uh, a winning streak as of late. But he's been in some big matches, and he has pulled a couple of really key victories on his way here. But, realistically, look at the card. Who else would you put in with, with Delta? Good point. Like, it may be a one-off match. It might not have a big story lead-up to it. But he's definitely a key player in the company, and who else would you have face her right now? Good point. I just hope we get a Baron teaser. I do too. Um, I would imagine, oh man, they're going to have to give us something with Baron after two shows back. I'm surprised Dude, we didn't get anything at Fringe. It's been a minute, yeah. Well, I think he's he might be changing his gimmick, dude. He took the mask off, so who knows? Maybe we already know who Baron is and we just don't know it. Facts. It's cool. The Riot City Wrestling. I mean, I don't know any other fucking seven-foot monsters in the Riot roster. Oh, but, you know. we're kicking it off with the four-way. It's so good to see RCW outside of the arena. Look how packed that is, man. Oh, when dude, we, yeah, that's standing room. When we were talking to Red Shaw, we had him on the live stream, and he was telling us numbers were up by at least 100 people here. Like, that is a solid, solid win. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had a great showing at the Fringe, and man, for where they're at, that's the shit. Like, that's their big event. And it isn't just wrestling fans. It's all kinds of entertainment, uh, artists, street fair vendors, all kinds of stuff go through the Fringe. And to have a, a, a stage like that is massive for them. Here comes Mike Boomer. And they always draw at Big Shed anyway. To see that they had good numbers and they were up was awesome. Dude, look how small Boomer is next to Snacks. Mm -hmm. He's like a little chihuahua in there, dude. He's so tiny. But yeah, he's got so much heart and he's got so much go. Yeah, this is not an easy defense for Vinny, his first defense out. No, they didn't do him any favors. No. No, you got Boomer, Snacks, and Matt Hayter all staring at you with the title in a four-way dance. Yeah, no, you're in for a hell of a night. Hayter's always dangerous. Snacks is super hungry. Boomer's been around long enough to know how this works. This is this is a dangerous matchup for, for Vinny. You want to talk about a head on a swivel, he's going to need one for sure. You're going to have to block every pin attempt all over the place all the time. Could be. So, knowing that Hater could be a Grand Slam champ for the first one as the Riot uh, roster, what do you think his chances are here? Well, I know how this plays. Not because I watched it. Oh, well, it. fine. I, I 
couldn't get away from spoilers on social media. So uh, I'm familiar. I don't. I actually don't think that there's there may be one or two matches that I don't know the finish on, or don't know who at least won. That's a rarity. I haven't seen any of the matches. It's a good policy to keep up on. Well, I'm not going to block them on social media just to not get spoilers. Yeah, no, not even kind of. I want to see them. I didn't see match finishes, though, or if I did, I didn't pay attention to them, or I don't remember. No, I didn't see finishes, but I know I know who's walking out with the championship. Ooh, yeah. So, is this a 15-minute time limit match? Yeah, I believe so. I think it's all under 15-minute rules. Because, right, Emerald Crown is usually the TV title style. Kind of shocked Vinny didn't that get a bigger adds, pop. You know, French, they went. It does they add went, an advantage to him. They went ape shit for him at Fringe. I mean, they went ape shit for everybody at Fringe. Yeah, Hater's not the guy you get in the face of, bro. He's He's been a champ, and he's not worried about your shit. He'll just take it from you and make it his. <laughs> Ref showing the belt. Very, very good. The beard game on the referee there is killer. Odd point, yeah. I haven't seen this referee like a before. Scruffy nerf herder compared to dudes trim up. All right, here we go. 15 minute time limit. That time limit does make it a little easier for Vinny to maintain his uh, his championship. Oh! Nice European uppercut there. Oh. I love how the Boomer and, and Vinny gave him the ring to get that move off and then <laughs> took the center. He's like, you must be at least this tall to ride this ride. Oh! That might have been a mistake, Boomer. Oof! Knife edges are coming to play the game today. He is definitely on point. Up and over. Oh, walks right into Vinny. Ooh, massive back body drop there. Standing switch. Oh shit, Hater over oh, the into top. The, into the German. Sunset flip German was very nice. That was a good shot for Hater to get a good pin attempt, but just a two there. Mm. Oh! Massive, stunning forearm there. Bro, forgot to tell you. Oh shit! Uh oh. Your, uh, we got the Brutality Rumble. Dean Brady has got his Rumble Championship on the line. Your favorite RCW wrestler is going to be involved in that. Uh, and, of course, I'm talking about Mr. Cliff. Oh, goody. <laughs> Vinny cut Snacks off. I might have let... I might have let Snacks go to town on Hater for a little while. You got to think Hater's the one. Oh! That, Hater's the one that everybody's got their eye on here. Well, that's why if I'm Vinny, I just let Snacks go to town on Hater and let them tie each other up, make sure no pins go down. But Boomer goes for two pin attempts, but doesn't manage to make it. Finding his opportunities and taking control. 
God, those kicks from Boomer. No, Vinny caught him. Ooh. Got Hater, too. And, and Hater, yeah. Vinny's catching everybody coming oh, out of that corner. Oh, Rough Rider. Over the top. Oh. Eyes on Snacks. Eyes on Snacks. Yeah, he's sizing him up. He sees it going down. Not about to let that happen. Snacks is in hoochie daddy mode right now in them shorts. Oh, we're up top. Oh, right across the gut of Matt Hader. Mm. Assisted stunner. Look at Boomer go here. He's getting his flowers in this ring right now for sure. Look at his ass. I ain't mad at you, Boomer. Take that spotlight. Vinny cuts him off, though. Oh, those open hands. Uh-oh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, got him. Eyes on Hater and Boomer. Superplex. Hater's up top. Moonsault. Boomer. Boomer's up. Stomps. Oh, God. No, Vinny with the save. What action to kick it off? Holy shit. Boomer with that stomp was dangerous, bro. That was deadly. Bro, they are, they're are—they're—they're putting it in right now. They're going to make it hard for anybody to top this. This is solid. I mean, it's the way to start the card for the brew, right? Ooh. Lays Vinny out in the middle of the ring with that big kick. Oh, but Hater cuts him off. Oh, Snacks Plex. Oh. Vinny, the only one standing here. Oh, Boomer. Got a guillotine. He sure does, and he's put all his weight sank forward. He pulled his weight all the way back. He has got the leverage on. He's going to take a lot of power from Vinny to pull out of this, but he does. Oh, but Boomer lands. Something with his ankle. Vinny gets the pin, but Boomer might be down. What a win for Vinny there. That was big. Yeah, he pulled it out. And didn't make it a time limit thing either. He actually gets the win. Yeah, I hope Boomer uh, didn't injure himself there. Yeah, that land was not great. What a match here tonight to kick off. Brutality. Absolutely. And to take nothing away from Vinny, great win, but Boomer really, really. Boomer is on the outside now, I guess. Oh, yeah, he's limping. Hard Hopping to the back, yep. Not great to see that, but uh -oh. hopefully we'll get an update. Uh oh, here we go. Dean Brady pulling double duty on this program. And big matches, too. It is so that's what party two power. Times. You remember when we first started watching RCW and I was not a fan. I was not a fan no, of No, you did of, not like party power party so much. Power. I have become such a big fan of theirs now. I just, I just get a couple it's of energy, shows man. in. It, it is. It really is. And uh, Violet Blitz has been getting the push uh, over the last several shows. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming up here. She has made a massive impact, that's for sure. 
Guys, if there's anybody in chat, can this is a no DQ match. Can you tell me how my microphone sounds if you're in chat? Absolutely. I don't know what the problem is with this damn thing. Get ready, guys, for the life to be sucked out of this place. We look for the arrival of the old guard. Well, they got a new video package. Yeah. We know Dean Brady will be looking for some retribution after losing the Emerald Crown. Christos wanting the old guy to come into the ring, cheering him on. The only person here cheering him on. Yeah, basically. I love those belts. I wonder if this is the part the tag where... The titles look so clean. I wonder if this is the part where we ask the old guard, uh, how does it feel to know that Nick Armstrong is the reason you have those straps? Right? I wonder how that does feel for him to know that they've got belts that they didn't win. And that they've had to cheat to keep them for this long. Well, yeah, you know, they got themselves disqualified against Benny and Snacks. Yep. Uh, Twelve months of his they did. That is All right, for the dickhead. Yeah, big time. Yeah, that happened. Wow. Nope. You have pissed off Banjo Power, sir. <clears throat> you want to use weapons? We will we'll use them too! Let's make this match a hardcore match! Whoa! Here we go. Interesting, interesting proposition for Oh, Banjo shit. Powers. It doesn't play well for the powers, though. The old guard has more numbers. And hardcore matches are no DQs. Hesitant on getting in the ring here. <coughs> I mean, they should be. They didn't come to the ring with a kendo stick or a chair. I believe. Okay. All right. Well, Brady's entering the ring, and he must be agreeing to this being a. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. What? <coughs> Yo, the bell. Oh no! What just what happened? The fuck. What just happened? She's walking out. She's done. Well, hold on, guys. This match is still underway. This the bells. Oh, hang on. Sound this is Oh no. What did we just witness, John? Oh my god. Betrayal. What the uh, fuck? Absolute and utter betrayal. Oh, spear to Russia next week. That is that's it. Good night. Oh my It's over. Wow. Wow. John, you, your jaw. You're going to need to pick it up, buddy. I, I, what the fuck, bro? I. <laughs> what's the betrayal I for here? I. I can't believe that. I can't believe that Blitz would join the old guard. But did she join the old guard? Or did she just turn her back on I don't on think Banjo? that she did. She just turned on Banjo and hauled ass. I think it's safe to say we're all a little shocked with that one. 
Well, that's a hell of a way to start a card. You've got a great four man. Vinny retains, and then Violet Blitz turns on Banjo Powers against the Old Guard, and they retain titles. I just. What? I think I'm going to have to put something out. Ty's been out for several shows. He hasn't been around. I don't know if he's out on an injury or a personal leave or what, but he has not been here for several shows now. He was injured. This puts Banjo in a hell of a position. Yeah. I'm actually throwing a social media post out now. Wow. Right into Katie Trey Amber. Jesus Christ. This show is going to have me on a roller coaster. I just put a, I threw it out on Instagram. Uh, just a graphic. And I tagged Violet Blitz in it. And I threw shocked eye emojis and a broken heart. Hey, my dude. Let's go. Notice he did not say former world champ. Oh, he knows better. Oh, Angus said it, though. Yep. Who is this that keeps getting in the ring in the suit? In the not not the ring announcer, the other cat. He's one of the admin guys. That's exactly right. But Katie Trey here trying to settle settle a score. It's good to see that Katie Trey has seemingly uh, escaped the grasp of Amber for now. Because uh, after Freak Mania, I thought he was a, he was a corner, to be honest. How can you boot someone that's in green and gold? Yeah. That's my question. <laughs> Pretty easy. <laughs> it's Katie Trey. The guy in the white jacket's a regular ring announcer. The other guy's the one that announced for Katie. Where's she going to come from? No, he was in the ring for the old guard intro. He's been cheering all the heels. I mean, sounds good. The fans with the Amber's gonna kill you chant. Katie's still like, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Dude, I don't either. She's terrifying. I love her. Katie Trey going to try to get a little a little sneak in on her ass. Like I said, Katie Trey, his confidence very rarely shaken, but Amber has certainly done that to him. And I think he's worried about leaving brutality with less than what he came in with. I like the green trunks. Yep, do you like the ring gear? And he rolls to the outside. He's like, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. He's got something to say. They're not going to get quiet, bosses. Go on. I look out into the crowd. 
I knew he was going there. They're getting the what chant. Disrespectful. <laughs> Unemployed. <laughs> Fat buddy says what? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. This place would be great if none of you were in it. Yeah, but then we would never show you. <laughs> Damn. Watch out, Amber's gonna get you, bro. Hey, Boy Scout's a harsh word. It is, it is a very harsh word. It's a very, very uh, 21st century insult. Yeah, he dude called me a Boy Scout. All right, well, let's see how honorable and respectful Called a lot of people is. Boy Scouts. Oh, Amber's <laughs> Amber's oh. done with the bullshit. On a cut wrench. Oh, he is jumping with that cut Got wrench. Two legs. Oh, he's a Crucifix into Rose's Edge. Maybe. Oh, no. oh, oh, she's gonna get oh. him she's gonna get him again. Beautiful. Counters into a Kirk and Rana. <coughs> by Amber. Katie Trey again with the back foot. We saw at Fringe Mania. Amber most certainly had Katie Trey's number, defeated him in that match, made him Absolutely. submit. Amber would have to be the most Katie uh, Trey slides out underneath orthodox wrestler in Riot City right now. Oh, that's uh, without a doubt, Paul Roberts. I don't know if, if Katie Trey knows how to take Amber at all. Look at this. Knees to the back. Oh. <laughs> Just drilling his head into that middle turnbuckle. Middle turnbuckle. Huge. Rocky. Very interesting maneuver there. She is nuts, this Amber. Seriously. He's got oh, his coat. Katie Trey throws his jacket, gets Amber caught with the boots. Hey, whatever works. Whatever works. Hey, at least uh, there's somewhat of a game plan here by uh, Katie Trey. Because to be honest, guys, I think he came into that fringe main. That was a bitch move by Katie Trey, is what it was. I think Katie Trey yeah. came in with nothing. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Very true. He's got he a he's got a win to get back. The motto. Lost it. Get in the crowd? Yeah, somewhere under the ring, I think, guys. Dude, Luma, I agree. Human trampolining is diabolical. Hold on. Leave it to Amber. Katie's, Katie's running to his line. Katie went to go out after her, but she was waiting on him. Oh, shit. Oh, what is she? She's got scissors? She's got barber shears, yeah. She wants to cut his hair. She looks so sad he took those scissors away. Drapes him over the top rope. Katie thought he was going to get the advantage here, but no. Amber said, no, uh, bitch, not today. Oh. Oh. Amber goes down. That's right. First, Katie Trey, thinking man's wrestler. Katie taking his time. I think he needs to pin. Like, he needs to just get on top and finish this. I, I think that might have been the turning point in this match, guys. I think he might be giving a little bit too much leniency towards Amber. Well, this is what I said. He came in with no game plan. Is he still not strategize how to take over Amber? Yeah. Because, seriously, I think you're right, Brody. He should be on her. The whole thing is he, he's pavering to oh. the crowd here. Uh, Lariat oh. takes her down. Levels are with a big Lariat, yeah. I mean, he should be taking her down. He should be going for the pin, but that's not Katie Trey. Katie is going to gawk around about it. Fuck off. And this is probably her best advantage for him to just let her have time. Oh. And this is, the, this is not a move you do when you have... You want to get someone uh, pinned in record time. This is a move you do when you're pondering to the crowd. And Amber's out the way. Amber out of the way before Katie Trey even dropped the elbow. Oh, oh headbutt to the big section. Oh. Shot to the gut. We'll slap that and another one. Backhand. 
A backhand put him on his knee. Spinning back fist. Yeah, that's right. Big time. Pimp hand on Amber is strong. Uh -uh. No, Katie catches her. Oh. Just drove her into the mat. Now this is more fight than we saw from Katie Trey at Fringe Mania. That's facts. No catapult for Katie Trey, and he doesn't even know. Ate that foot. Eats another one. Oh, a flare flop. Roll through. Cross body rolls over, though. Got her. Mm, got that win back. Damn it. That, that was wasn't lucky. fucking lucky. Fuck. That was smart. That was smart. That was a counter to a flying crossbody. That was fucking smart. Nothing lucky about that. Three counts. One, two, three in the middle. No tights, no nothing. Legit fucking win. It was still sneaky. No one. But Amber's pissed about it. It was a counter. There's nothing sneaky about a counter. Oh, gets that, that all around the world DDT going on. Oh, shit. No. Is she going to cut the locks? She's going to cut his locks. Oh! oh she's got, she Katie Trey. My God. And what a scalp. Hair match. There's a hair match that's got to be coming. Some 300 plus days. He has lost. He has lost his hair. Katie Trey. Oh my goodness. Has lost his pride. And Sir, as a long-haired aficionado myself, I feel for you. I'm sorry. Amber couldn't take getting beat. And she had to resort to, to shady tactics. That's all. That's all there is to it. I, mean, I wouldn't call it shady. It was pretty upfront. She knew what she was going to do from the get go. She wanted to get those scissors in and uh, and trim, trim, trim. Shout out, Phoenix. I see you. Yeah, she, uh, she was. She... Uh, you know, I wouldn't have put it past her if she had done some serious damage with those scissors, but I think she's good with just the hair. Okay, so before this one gets too deep, I'm going to step out. I need to refill my drink. I'll be right back. Yep. Got Thorn Enterprises in first. Representing Thorn Enterprises. Yeah, Kai Thorn, the manager of Thorn Enterprises. The face, if you will, the leader of the faction, Kai Toa. Got some flip-offs in the corner there. Really know how to work that crowd up. Izzy assures me that it's just a, a friendship. Uh, okay, okay. Shouldn't they male friends? That's okay. I, I don't, oh, I'm not a shit! Do you need me in the... Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Who's at these giant wankers? Oh, shit. It's AMT. You like that? Giant wankers, huh? You like that? Then you're going to love this. Ladies and gentlemen. The unstoppable 
He hit him with the, if you like the first three inches, you're going to love the next three. seeing Redshaw and Down Under on a team together. I know that they don't have beef or anything, but they've definitely had some hella matches. Grim has made his appearance. We need our splashdown tarps, everybody. There's a lot of talent in that ring. Very unlikely matchup with Grim, Redshaw, and Down Under. Like. Seems like a very odd pairing of gentlemen. Such a huge advantage having that key as well. We can really cash in at any time. It's, it's such a, a good thing to have in your back pocket. However, was he unsuccessful last time he had the key? He was successful. He defeated Voodoo. Oh, that, that long ago. 2013, Paul Roberts. So I thought Enterprise was just stepping in the ring. Now yeah, let's see how this Robert match starts off. I do like Bob's attitude though. He may be technically misses, but I do like Bob's attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna let that, that pass. Let that, oh. let that slide. Let that slide. Thorn and Kaitoa definitely do not have any size advantages in this matchup at all. And Bob is barely matching up. And now this is a bit unfair. Is AMT gonna be. Is AMT gonna be. What is going on with AMT? What is AMT doing? He's in the face of AMT's just in his face. In all of their faces. And we're just going to it. Slobber knocker and Sue. We got Bob and Grimm. We got Kai Thorne with Red Shaw. And we got Kai Toa and Down Under on the outside. There's a lot going on. Oh, the strength of Redshaw. Just pressing Kai Thorne. That's right, yes. Grim was already in this kind of match last time we were at Big Shed, the Big Shed Brewing Company. Bob with the block there. Kai Toa up top. Never misses. That was huge. Springboard Lariat there sends Redshaw to the ropes. Grim's in, though. Oh, shit. Looks like a double choke slam attempt here. Bob's in. Oh, gets that big headbutt to the gut. Belly to back suplex. Down under's in to even the score here. Pulls Bob off, but eats an elbow. Oh, spine buster by down under there. But eats that right hand and the drop kick by the Thorns. I hate to say it, man, but I was pulling for Katoa in that uh, Key to the City ladder match at the Fringe. I was also. I think that would have been great for him. Breaks right through. The big man does it with a double clothesline. Team Grimm standing tall. Riot City Wrestling. 
trying to amp the crowd up here. Each of them take a man, mount the corner, and we're about to see a lot of fists of fury. Fox, here we go. That is 30 big old right hands. Make it 33. Oh, Larry gets a galore. Close lines over all the ropes. Good Lord. Oof. No, they just count them one at a time, and we're supposed to do the math on commentary. Curious to see the interaction with Redshaw and Bob here after their match at the Fringe. Yeah, but him and Bob haven't really gotten to tangle up yet. Grimm's kind of had Bob to himself. Trading some chops. Yeah. <laughs> Bob takes himself a good old swig of beer from the from the from the table here. And then spits it right into Grimm's eyeballs. Oh, we got a keg. Oh shit. Oh, walked right into that oh. one. Merch tables are not safe, sir. Not in a barroom brawl. Down under's ordering a beer. There you go. <clears throat> a little, little receipt there. Now they have a new horn at merch table. Drank out of by Grimm. Three times the price. Oh, face plants at the top of that pony keg. Down under, also drinking over at the bar. Redshaw at the corner post with Kai Thorne. I don't know who that guy was, but he just got taken out. Look at the baby face of Redshaw. Helped him up. Yeah, I saw that too. I was uh, thinking to myself, man, you could have been back to the action and let the security guys worry about him. But that's because I'm a dick. Oh shit, down under's up on the bar. We got a Coyote Ugly drop. <coughs> Big cannonball. We got fights going on everywhere here. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all over the place. I don't know that the referees are going to get this under control at all. We got Kai Toa in the ring now. Down under brings him in. He gets a single leg slip up there by Kai Thorn. Eyes on Kayatoa. Oh, shit. Watch out. He's going up. Oh, top a shooting for a big star. Splash. Everybody's eating it. I think he hit Kai Thorne with that more than he hit anybody else. I mean, that was like face to face on Kai Thorne. Bob's the only one that made it out of that craziness. And he got himself another beer out of it. Uh oh. Double team on Redshaw here. 
Trash can. Kaito has got a trash can. This isn't gonna go good for him. Mmm. Grim comes in to try and clear house. Numbers game. But the numbers catch up, yeah. Hitting anything that moves right now, dude, and laying them down too. That shot on Bob when he first came in was gross. But all three of them—they've got to get the whole team together to fight this numbers issue. And again, the guy. This this pin is really paying off. Kaito is going to end up hitting Bob. <laughs> Down under. Now he's got a weapon. If he wasn't dangerous before. Oh shit, Redshaw. And Redshaw's got it. Ooh, into the gut of Bob. Oh. Yeah, gut. We'll call it gut. Real quick, I mean, real shit. I don't know if you guys follow uh, Bob over on Instagram, man. This guy's uh, uh, striving to get in better shape, man. He's he's definitely putting the work in and is shedding some LBs for sure. Looking better and better every shot. Oh, doomsday device. Fuck. Turns him inside out. No, referee pulled out. And they yanked the rail. I was wondering how they were going to manage to break that pin with all three of them in the ring and paying attention, but that works. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to uh, to CJ Phoenix, our, our current number one contender over in the WGWF. Just had to give him a, a little plug there. Uh-oh. Katoa is in a bad space. Oh, we got a Dudley spot. How many? Oh, we got some. Yeah, there's no telling what you'll find under the ring. Yeah. Uh oh. Bob's got AMT. Well, I'm glad you're here, CJ. Oh, they just fucked up. Oh, shit. They just clocked AMT. I brought the whole group out, though. Oh, shucks, Mr. Phoenix. There we go. Redshaw got him. I think everybody's had a little bit of beer in this match. and I Red think everybody has, yeah. For Redshaw, it's uh, it's it's more apropos because uh, beers and brawls. Check that out over on YouTube, guys. Hit the in the search Good, yep. the search button, uh, the search little icon. Type in beers and brawls. Oh, payback from the fringe right oh. there. <laughs> Redshaw with that weight belt to the back of Bob here, trying to whip him into shape. No, this is payback. This is receipts from last month. One hundred percent. Oh, yeah. That's got to be at least five or six lashes right there. And Grimm's got Kaitoa. That is not where Kaitoa wants to be at all. Oh, 
Oh, I think I saw this clip. I think I know where this is going. Oh, hang on down. He's back on the bar. And Redshaw's on the bar. And Redshaw. Yeah, I think I saw this post. They're Red just Norris. chilling on the bar. They're like, yeah. I don't know where Kai Thorne and Bob are at. There's Bob. They're just brawling all over the building. Well, I am, man. It's a, it's a fucking barroom brawl. What do you expect? If they stayed in the ring, I'd be disappointed. I think they've barely been in the ring. Big okay. kick there by Kaitoa. Sends Grim down the stairs. Looks like Kaitoa is up on the bow. Oh shit. You know exactly what he has in mind. 19, I think. Oh shit. He was waiting on Grimm at the bottom, but Grimm wasn't at the bottom. Grimm's about to throw his ass off of the balcony. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's eating a choke slam from way up. We've seen Grimm choke slam Kaitoa. Here we go. Oh. Oh, into the crowd. Oh my god. Kaitoa could be dead. Holy it was like shit. Bob and Redshaw and a couple security guys and Kai Thorne. Everybody ate that. Damn. Now that was Grim, a... do not cross body off the top of that. You're way too fucking big, dude. Good job. Yeah, I think Kai Thorne is out of the match. So this is what the Waffle House looks like at 2 a.m. You know what, Phoenix? That might be true. At least down here in Florida, that's accurate. Let's face it, teenager has fallen from almost 10 meters. I mean, tonight will end. He's got to go on living his life. That was yeah. That was over 20 feet for sure. Has he got up? No, he hasn't moved since he hit the floor. Oh, this isn't look good for Shane Thorne. I told you they were fucked. You got Grimm and Down Under and Redshaw on one side of the ring. Nah, man, ball game. Yeah, that's a lot of. In a fucking bar, in a brawl situation. Uh, You know, down under somebody I'd want to talk to as well. Oh, 100%. Yeah, Kai Thorne is in the worst possible predicament here. If nothing else, man, like, I, I got to do it. I do it every time we have a show in down under. Zone. Shout out for the mullet, man. Like, that is fucking glorious. Kai Thorne's trying to get a time. Oh, AMT no got a receipt. Wrestling, boss. AMC gave him a receipt. Redshaw and down under blocked that mess. Oh. Ball fucking game. Yeah, you're not kicking out of that, homie. We're gonna need a stretcher for Kai. Oh, I'm just glad Kai's moving. Oh, 
Damn. Right. Match of the night so far. That was decisive as shit, is what that was. I mean, Damn. think about this. We still got Armstrong and uh, and Basso, the Brutality Rumble, and Delta and fucking Jed Armstrong. And this is what the show's been so far. And we still have all of these other. Oh shit, Grim was getting in Redshaw's face there about the horn. Mm hmm. Everybody gets a beer. Where's AMT's beer? Yeah, I don't know. Let's hear it for the team of Redshaw, Down Under, and Matt Grimbasso! Hey, even corporate juicy Christos has to enjoy that one. Everyone can enjoy that, enjoy that one right here. Redshaw out into the crowd. Right, Lima. I feel I feel like I'm 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 missing out on the beer bash here. I mean, I say that like I drink a lot. I may have a handful now, a year. Luma, I imagine it's probably at the corner store. That's Redshaw making it right, man. Sorry, I fucked your horn up here. Let me let me carry you out, bro. <laughs> Down under's like, guys, I've already killed mine. Why are Your you Bob's just carrying Kai Thorne out of the ring. Oh, residents of Riot City, we're going to take a few minutes to clean up this mess. Make sure you head to our friends at the bar. Those cherry poppers are absolutely perfect, and they fit fantastically in the Luke has and Stubby holders. Make sure you check out the merchandise stand over here. Grab something to drink, grab something to eat. I mean, that might be the best way to do it. Time skip. Uh oh. Another video. That's just two weeks from now. We'll have another Riot City show in, in about four weeks, guys. Three, three and a half, four yep. weeks. Great video package. I love this. Their marketing material is on point. Oh shit! You. Yeah. Here oh, yeah, we go. This starts. Yeah, it's fight time. Yeah, one second. Champ, champ, on his way. This is a, like an eight or a nine month story. And we're finally getting the singles match. Big Shed, please make welcome. The champ champ, the champ Nick Armstrong. He's been waiting on this. It was a little Vinnie Max saunter. He has been bullied, he's been harassed, and he's been dogged down by the old guard. He lost his opportunity at the RCW Grand Championship. That's right. That's right. The first ever Ryan City Rumble winner to not successfully challenge for good. the RCW Championship. Unbelievable. This is huge, right? Yeah, that, that is historic in and of itself. But this match, this rivalry, oh. guys, this is Can't wait for this. a decade worth of history. And we're writing the next chapter right now. Way 
Here we go. He's got the old guard in tow. Oh, I'm so ready for this one. three up and this is kind of the rubber match this is going to be fire and now for the seventh time they come to blows in their singles career right here at brutality oh Dean Dean Brady trying to show off the the Armstrong of course they brought the entire crew out just for him the last time these guys squared off was at the HQ complex wow 2018 when uh Chris Basso defeated Nick Armstrong, became the RCW champion. Crowd really behind Nick here. They understand the odds that he is <coughs> against. And once again, the, the bullying and the torment that has gone on with Nick has been ridiculous from the old guard. Yeah, and how the tables... It has been ridiculous. Arms, the whole Nick thing's is, been uh, ridiculous. Reviled by the fans, now beloved. Yep. Chris All right, Basso Cutthroat and Dean are both going back to the back. So it is and just the two of them out here for now. But know that those two guys could play a role in this at any point. Oh, sure. And I almost uh, would half expect it with considering the, the story. <clears throat> this is, John, I don't know if you heard this or not, uh, or when you got back, I'm frantically looking to see if Violet Blitz has acknowledged my heartbroken Instagram post. Uh, they've wrestled six times over the course of their career and their three wins apiece so take oh, so that this is the rubber band match all the way you take that with the story that they have told over the last eight or nine months this could be anybody yeah standing switch here this is the wrist locks oh, switches again now we're inside headlock Lasso sends him off, but Armstrong like runs right through him. Absolutely, what a strong start. Really uh, putting an impression on uh, old mate Seabass very, very early. And, uh, Chris champ really Champ showing no fear here. Man, he, he is he's no, primed. No, he he's is not fucking afraid ready. of Lasso at all, yeah. This is, this is exactly what he wanted. Basso, she's been part of the old guard. And here's my thing, guys. Right. Chris Basso, the engineer, he would have recruited Nick to join him in the old guard. We never truly found the origin of how Nick joined the faction, but we have to imagine that Chris Basso recruited him. Yeah, Only to discard him like yesterday's rubbish. You know, this is just pure narcissism, egotism. Basso with the roll up, but just one. Chris having to revert to hair pulling to make this, this uh, transition. Oh, nicely done by Basso there. Oh, Basso's a crafty son of a bitch. He's mad dangerous, oh, yeah, he but is. Armstrong knows that. Absolutely. I know you weren't you weren't there, Brody, but how satisfied were you when If anybody knows Basso, it's Armstrong. All strength and power to our grand champion, Delta. Absolutely killing it. She will be in action later tonight against Jet oh, Armstrong. Can't wait for that. So right now, single Calling for a strength Bassett. test. This is a That's trap, great. and you know it. Rekis is smarter and stronger than uh, Nick Armstrong, does he? And of course, we've got that big Royal Park Rumble coming up as well. Makes him reach for it way oh, up. Come on now. Yep, leaves well, it open for that well. kick to the midsection. Club and forearm sends him to his knees. Suckerty man. 
Big elbow to the neck there. God. He was a hero to everyone. Oh! Armstrong explodes out of the corner with those lariats, levels him twice. A oh, big cross body block, and he is not. Fuck the pin. I'm here to pound your fucking face. I don't think he gives a shit about the win, to be fair. I think this is about doing damage to Basso. To be fair, a shirt coming soon to our uh, our merch store. Oh, no. No, no, no. Chris Basso. Locks Nick in there. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Got him. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's a crazy that could be the moment right there. That could be the swing shift here. But we'll see. Armstrong's come from behind way worse than this. Fans are in it. Nick coming in with those midsection shots. Cut off. Side suplex. Back. Basso making fun of him. We don't know how those ribs are of Nick. They are well, absolutely. I'll yeah. you 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, it's absolutely. Been, it's been yeah, last time we saw Armstrong had his ribs taped up. We don't know how that recovery's been. Maybe he's not taped because he didn't want to make it a target, but Basso knows. <clears throat> Neckbreaker. Two count only. Maybe. Maybe. Going to work on Nick Armstrong. Ken, the old guard, Ken. Basso setting him up. Armstrong blocks. Blocks again. Got him. Armstrong with the suplex. Suplex countered by Nick Armstrong. See if he can swing the tide here. He needed to take, take that second to get some space, and he did. Oh, got him with a kick. Oh. Claymore. Got him with the power bomb here. Oh, just a two. No, so close. Armstrong kicks out. Basso wasting time arguing about it. Look, man, Hulk is is intently watching. Oh wait, let me get that microphone out of the way. Hulk is watching fucking Basso and Armstrong, bro. You see that? Everybody's invested. Usually he's he's. Matt sends Armstrong in the middle of the ring. Usually he's snuckered out in the sleep, man, but his eyes are intent. Cranking the neck of Nick Armstrong here. Armstrong slides out, trying to get to his feet. Big elbows in the midsection to make the break. Nope, cut off. Oh, but gets cut off. Oh, Armstrong suckered him in there. What's good for the goose, man? Big, big up back body drop. Into the cover. was way in the air. Just a two? Yeah, he wasn't expecting to pull the win there. The face of Nick Armstrong, he is disappointed. He thought he could have had that back body definitely took something out of Chris Bossa though. Like damage has been done already. Fans appreciating this one. Here we go, the Irish rip quickly reversed. Oh, blue thunder thunderbomb. Armstrong knew what was coming. Nope. Like I said, if anybody knows Basso, it's Armstrong. He knew exactly what was going on, knew exactly where he was, and pulled the best uh, counter he could. Hey, and vice versa. If anybody knows knows Armstrong, it is Basso. You know, this, these, these guys are, are definitely no strangers. This could be it, guys. This could be it. Here we go. God, I need to see Nick pull the win here. Yeah, I want that real bad. Nope. Oh, Basso got the boot up, up to the middle rope. Shotgun drop kick to the back. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Bomb handle. Oh. Just a two count. 
<clears throat> Armstrong out in two. Armstrong kicks out. Basso can't believe it. Must be bloody on fire at the moment. That is insane. The boss also expected that to be over. On the engineer, he cannot believe what has happened here. Hold on now, Paul. Coming up for the mega driver. No. Counter it out. No, no. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. He's got him right in the middle of the ring. Sit in on it. Do it. Sit down. Sit back. Sit back. Oh. Yep, here they are. Cutthroat and Dean Brady have made it to ringside. Basso's up. No. Kick to the midsection. Sets the double under up. Okay, kick out. Mm. Does get the kick out. All right, Nick, let's go. Not tonight, man. He is saying, not tonight. This is my night. I thought we were done and dusted. Guys, guys, I, I, I know this is a heated rivalry. I know there is so much on the line here, but this is an incredible matchup. I thought I'm getting lightheaded. This is the absolutely insane. Basso lining him up. This could be the best. Set him up. What's a cutter? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Ref bump. Oh, shit. This is no good for, for Armstrong. Uh -uh, cut the, here they go. Cutthroat and Brady cut in the ring. Cutthroat and Brady are up. Damn it. I don't see anybody coming to help Armstrong. They powder. Nick is fucking out. Oh, he kicked out. No, kicks. Kicked oh out. Kicked God. out. What are we witnessing here, fellas? What are we witnessing? We can't believe it. The look at the engineer, Chris Basso. He cannot believe it. The heart of Nick Armstrong here. He wants a win so bad. Reaching their hands out in support of Nick Armstrong. Look at this. The fans are willing. The fighting spirit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. from Nick Armstrong. Here we go. The champ champ. Desperation right hand staggers him into the corner. Well, the engineer Chris Basso, big forearm. Oh, brutality of that brute of what a. Hello, Nick, holding on to the ropes. Chris Basso double takes for a second there. Oh, look out! Up and over. Onto the old guard on the outside. Takes out Brady and cuts Now, now you take a chance. Oh shit! Now you take a chance. You got it. You you got one shot here. That's exactly what I thought, too. I thought he was going up to the top. Oh. I thought he was going to do a suicide or something. Oh, but catches him coming in the ropes. Is that double underhook? Again. Drops him again. God damn it. No. He kicks. No, the ref calls two. Fuck you, table. I feel like I need to, I heard three. That was a kick out. Referee saying two. I feel like I need to back this up. John, pause where you're at. I feel like I need to see this again. 15. Where are you pulling to? Uh, 1440. No, that's not quite there. Let's go back to 1440. 1415. Tell me when you're there. He's got him up in the driver. All right, one second. Yeah, I feel like I need to see this again. Sorry, guys. We don't usually do this on the live stream. I thought I heard three. All right. I am, I'm up in the driver. We're all set. Three, two, one, play. Sega Mega driver, guys. There it is. One, two, three. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. I thought it was 3 2. But I mean, the ref calls 2, it's 2. Oh, 
Referee saying two. That was two. Listen, no, that the was. The fans don't give a fuck either. The fans are like, no, that's two. two. That was well, you two. can see Cat Pro saying three. Oh, bring it again. Bring it again. Bring the the referee back. has advised. There Restart. was only a two count. Oh no! This wow. match. We know what we saw. Yeah, Dean and Cutthroat are losing it. And they're thrown out. Good. Alright, they're back on track now. This is insane. Have we ever seen this before in Ryan City Wrestling? Listen to this crowd. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, here here we go. Again, but Nick Alves. Counter. Tries for the double under, but gets the double leg. Sharpshooter right in the middle of the ring. Listen to this crowd. This is unbelievable. Chris Bassett could tap out right now. He, is. he taps. He is. And he does. That's a tap. Yes. Now, Bazo's going to asterisk this. As he should. With, with the, as he should. And it means that the seventh didn't matter. Yes, he gets the, the one up on the count. Now we're four and three for Nick Armstrong. But. Cardo, shut up. See you, bud. We're going to have to have more. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a tough spot. I honestly think that the referee just botched and made a mistake. We thought Nick Pin was pinned on the second match driver. Not so. Not how I would like to see that match end, though. I need to see a rematch. I mean, the ending was great, but the yeah. middle ending was not Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Everything. The heart of this man is insane. Brutality is living up to everything plus more. I gotta give it to Armstrong. He took everything they had and came off on it, though. Facts. Of course they are. They're all getting lit. Oh, oh shit. Alright, let me step away before this one gets too deep. I'll be right back. I've I've made it through almost two cups of water on this stream. You have become the poster child for Australian wrestling. Delta, I am Delta's she's you are truly She's earned that right to be the poster child of yeah. Australian wrestling. There's no denying that. Never be <clears throat> yeah, work ethic is on par. The okay, I'll be right back. Jed Armstrong at Fringe Mania won the right to face you for the RCW Grand Championship. And he now, cheated to get it, but yeah. RCW brutality on April 19th. In front of a jam-packed crowd at the Big Shed Brewery, ironically enough, Delta, you become the answer to a pub trivia question. <laughs> Who did Jed Armstrong beat to become the RCW Grand Champion? Delta, you are so uh, not yet. You haven't. Soar with the Eagles, but it's going to be hard to fly the coop with a busted wing. That's a lot of shit talking to be going into the match. Great intro package though. Here we have the contender. Jimmy C and Gouda in tow. This is gonna be another numbers game. I can see it now. Carlos, welcome to the chat. Glad you're here. Good to see you. We're checking out RCW Brutality, just dropped on Friday. From Riot City Wrestling over in Adelaide, Australia. As we do every time we get a chance to.
back at Fringe Mania, earned himself the right to challenge tonight for the RCW Grand Championship, guys. But geez, does he have a tough challenge? Well, there's a tough challenge. One, he's got the tough. Challenge. Yeah, I do not envy Armstrong in this match. Jet has got one hell of a fight on his hands. And Jimmy C at ringside. Absolutely, they are an X factor in this match. Absolutely. Yeah, I thought I thought Dr. Gouda was sent to oblivion by Matt Hayter at the fringe, but. I, I guess it's, it's yeah. good to see that he's alive still, you know. <laughs> and it's good that Jimmy C can see again. Yeah. No more eye patches. But what a sight to see we have. Well, Here we go. For the Big Shed Brewery to experience the Grand Champion. And here. Coming to ring in her red dress gear. What a force of nature. Soak it in, guys. It is Delta, the first ever Riot City Wrestling Grand Champion. And she has. Well, they made the title for her, so that makes Chris sense. Basso and Grimm in her title reign so far, looking for a third defense tonight. You're never going to see anything like this in Riot City Wrestling history again. And you think of names like Grimm and, and Chris Basso, the, the two who have challenged before, but I think this is her biggest test today. She has Jimmy C, she has Gouda. On, they're on the outside. On the inside is Jet Armstrong, the alchemist. I totally agree. Like, like I said before, yep. the X-Factors make the difference here. This is going to be a tough test for Delta. It's going to make a huge difference here for Delta. Ladies Can and she get the job done? The residents of Riot City. The following match is for the Riot City Wrestling Grand Championship. Introducing Let's go. He's accompanied to the ring by Dr. Richard Gouda and Jimmy C. He's the Alchemist, Jet Armstrong. And King of the Fringe, which has it failing to mention that. That's why we're here right now. Not the biggest fan favorite here tonight. That's his opponent. No, not even kind of a fan favorite. The fans hate him. <laughs> you can hear the fans. Delta's gonna kill you. Delta's gonna kill you. She is She's just giggling about it too. She's loving it. She is destruction. She is the Riot City Wrestling Grand Champion. She is Delta. Listen to this crowd. Yeah, what they know what they came to see. Crowd champion. The grand champion. Delta. The dominance. The destruction. Delta is indeed on a path right now. And Jet Armstrong is in the way. Yeah, Delta is truly on a path of greatness, Paul. Delta yeah, I don't envy Jet Armstrong at all here. Yeah, 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 you have. He may have earned his shot to get here, or stole his shot to get here, however you want to look at it. But this is not going to be an easy fight. Defense number three. The bell is rung. This one officially underway. Our RCW Grand Championship match right here for brutality. Oh, and already. Oh, Jimmy C, come on. Immediately. The bell sounded like two seconds ago. Come on, Jimmy. Yeah, come on, Delta. Get him. Oh, look out. Well, and that's what I'm talking about, guys. That yeah. X Factor. This distraction caused. And we're underway Jimmy here. C. Oh. Like a bomb. Oh, Jet Jet trying for the quick pin. Oh. Oh. He is trying to just get this knocked off right off rip oh, so he doesn't have to worry about it. Lion salt. Jails it. Oh. The alchemist. This could be it. This could be it. Oh. No. 
No, that's not enough. Just a two count there. Look at Jet. He's like, what do I do next? Well, beautiful line salt from Jet. He had a plan. Now he's run all the way through it. Perhaps straight into it. Alchemy, no. Look, Jet's trying to over the top. Delta straight off the top. Oh, Delta! Oh shit! Catches him in that cross body though, and slams the shit out of him. Alchemist. Yeah, so impressive is Delta, our grand champion. Hey, fresh off a TNA Knockouts Championship match at Oceanic Pro Wrestling last week. Did you guys get a chance to see that? I haven't seen it yet. Unbelievable. Came so close. Up on the, the shoulders, the fingers of the eyeballs, though. Rakes the face. The whole damn thing. And now reversing Chet Look at Armstrong. Look at oh, thought he the was going to get a suplex oh, in, but no. The With a show of power, Delta just holding him up in the air. Oh no, stalling vertical suplex. But Gouda drops him like a bad habit. But now we've got Gouda in the in the apron there with the ref distracted. Hey, this is one of our newer referees, not much experience. Getting distracted by Gouda. Too much time spent. Yeah, absolutely. Delta should have had this one in the bag. That him. match was over right Jet then and there. Works on the arm. Gets that arm though. Jesus. This is the precursor to the downfall. Judge, uh, did you check your phone? He loves that nope. I sent you a text. Oh, oh, Violet gave us a response. She gave us a chair and a, and a shrugging emoji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Blue Eyed. I'm getting flashbacks to when Jet was the Emerald Crown holder. This is how he he won most of his matches. And if it works, right? Wow. Keep going back to it. Like it literally works for him. And that's all she had to say about it, huh? Yeah. I responded. I was like, listen, we've enjoyed watching your growth over the last several months, uh, and to keep up the good work. It's been about three years. Four years since his last championship match against Rocky Monero. You know, Jet's looking for any way to get that that armbar submission on. Dude, he wants that he wants that that win so bad, dude. He wants to get the fuck out of there too. Say what you want about Jet, but my goodness, he is a clever wrestler. Need to remind me when we go off air. I, I had have something interesting to talk about. Okay. Not only at ringside, but earlier today, backstage. It's been a good day on Twitter and Instagram. Nice. Not showing too much signs of wear and tear from that assault earlier today. Big back body drop. Yeah, that was a brutal assault by Jed Armstrong and his goon squad. Let's go to setting up all look here. Hang on. Watch Jimmy. Hope you're having a fantastic evening, Blue Eyes. Delta. Oh, oh, look, they got <sighs> Jimmy C finds a way to stick his nose in fucking everything. That step up into Taguri on Delta goes for the pin. Not happening. Just a two, though. Yeah, she shoves him off. Going for that arm. And harder for Delta to kick out. Oh, Standing on that hand, his body her chest. drives the boot right into that elbow. Jet is, he's a veteran. He is a strategist. Absolutely. He knows what he's doing inside yeah. that squared circle. Absolutely. You cannot take him for granted. Delta might have three, three and a half years of experience. Jet, almost 20 oh. years of experience. Going oh. for the ring post. Yeah. Back on that arm, just yeah, he's trying to tear that arm out. I'm shocked they got the belt right there in the corner. There's could be some some butterfingers or some 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 glue fingers there. Snapmare. Ooh. And look, look, guys, again, Delta. That pressure was put on that injured. That injured arm that Jet's been working on this entire match. I love how Angus yeah, brings it back to the target. Yeah, I love how Angus brought it back to the arm. You gotta give that asterisk to Jimmy C and Gouda. Look at Daisy. Kind of 
He's he's pulling this shit together, man. He's getting better and better with every show. Oh, cuts her off with a big boot in the middle. Club and four oh, over head the back butt. there. Oh, he ate it. Oh, got the foot up. Ran right into that boot there in the corner. Armstrong up. Roll through. Cross body. Rolls through. Lifts him up right off the mat. All power by Delta. Spinning side slam. Nope. Guys. Two count. So close. I mean, she is a force we reckon with, and that's why you can never underestimate Delta. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. Always in the bag. That is what has brought Delta to the promised land time and time again. Here goes Delta. Oh, the jet counters out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, roll through. Has, has he got it locked in? Yeah, Juji Katami. Moving to the middle of the ring. Delta's, Delta's trying to block it with those hands. Trying to, but he's uh -oh. got it free. She's got to roll this over. Yep, she just did. She knew. She knew. She knew yep, knew it. Pure power. All power right there. Unbelievable. The strength summoned by Delta to do that to Jet Armstrong. How do you convert a Juju Katami into a powerbomb, Brody? How do you do this that? This is unbelievable. The strength is such so a that crowd, man. Right? Like, Dude, they're in too. They're out, this whole show. They've been absolutely invested. I'm looking around. I'm seeing fans here. They they cannot believe what they are seeing. I can't believe what we're seeing. Oh, Delta ducks the line. Oh, oh nice. Oh. German suplex. Another one. And again. And another. Halfway across the ring. Oh, wow. number three. No. Yes, yeah, she's getting a lot of air on Jet Armstrong oh, with those. To hang on to the top rope. Jet grabs the corner, though, and blocks it out. Hits that elbow. Hard that back elbow wow. Goes up top. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. But he oh, no, no. Oh, Delta sees it, though. Oh. 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 Turned him inside out. Landed on his face. Is it one two? Oh. No, two count. Jets out. Just a two count. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. What a match. Jet is so lucky. He is so lucky. That could have been three so easily. Wow. And look, we're seeing a few desperation moves by both wrestlers here. It's it is a very very competitive match. Yeah, I'm curious what Jet was going for there. High risk offense. Everything is on the line. The RCW Grand Championship is up for grabs right here at Brutality. Oh, get behind it. Nope. Oh, no. Delta oh. The Vertical top. leap by Delta Armstrong. The arm. oh, there it is. He's got it. Yeah, yeah, but can he maneuver? He's as much in the middle of the ring as you can get to. She's got a long way to go to get to a rope. <clears throat> Roll over, rolls through into a pinning combination. Counters right back to the arm. Right back oh, to the arm bar, shit. rolls over. Delta's in trouble. Delta's in trouble. Delta might tap the Jets modified. We may have a new grand champion here, guys. And look, Jets using his other hand for leverage. This is the most amount of pain Delta could ever feel. She is fighting to get to that rope. I mean, she she's got it. her way there, but she's got it. She gets the wow. Holy cow. Jet was even using his other hand to bridge The damage has been the done here. How did Delta manage to get to the ropes on that one? Guys, if, if she didn't get to the ropes, she would be tapping. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of damage has been done to Delta's arm. The, the shoulder could actually be dislocated at this point. Could be a lot going on. I mean, all kinds of damage could be done with those kinds of arm bars. She's favoring that arm. Jet's just stalking her now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jet's just waiting on her. Oh, here he goes. Wait, fly spread. spread. No. Nope, counter. Oh, big boot. Uh-oh. 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 Hold on, hold on. How's that arm? How's He's up on the shoulders. Can she get him? With one arm, can Delta do it? Yeah. F5. Got him. F5. Pin, pin. Got him. Does got him. Land. Got him. One arm, here we got him. I think he's probably going to kick here. One, two, and... Oh, come on. Nope. I mean, the Jimmy ref, C got uh, foot on the rope. 
ref should have saw that. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's on the rope now. It's still a break. Uh uh, Delta, don't do this. This is what they want you to do. They want you to lose focus. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Damn. Oh, the belt. The this is it. This is it. To the skull. The cover. One, the cover. Two. Oh. No, she kicks out. Delta's out. Does She's kick. out. She's out. Oh, my God. After the belt the shot, after the arm bars, after all the bullshit, she still has it in her. She's not done yet. I mean, it looked that way right now, but she's definitely still got it in her. Every single person willing Delta on. Jet cannot believe it. What more does he have to do? Oh. oh. Wow. I mean, that's just more disrespect than anything. And now berating Delta. And I don't think oh, Delta don't, likes it too yeah, much. No, look out. I think that was a mistake. Yeah. The wrong person, yeah. <laughs> that was that was the the oh, wrong play. Off because now you uh -oh. just pissed her off. Is that over, STF? Delta became the grand champion in the first place. Jet's going to tap, surely. Delta has made so many tap outs in this move in the past. No, he's going to get it to the ropes. He's almost there. Come on. right there. Kick these fuckers out. She's dragging them both in. Ref's gonna get her out of She's gonna six back in. Hold on, Jet. Let oh. the ref spend all day doing that. Jet Jimmy's coming, coming from the other side. He doesn't see the tap. But the ref didn't see where, yeah, I was about to say, where is Jimmy C? Where is he at? Oh, he's got a bat. Right there. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, hey. That's the same bat Jimmy C used earlier today to brutalize the ref. The ref has seen it. The ref has seen Jimmy C. Well, is that a disqualification? What yeah, is that? Yeah, but the, the ref hasn't seen what Jimmy C has done. But Jimmy C using that bat, Just kick him out. To attack Delta. And now the referee... Oh, Jimmy's out of here. Sending leather down. You're out of here. Oh, you get out now of here, you wanna too. Now you want to touch me? You're out of here, too. He hasn't finished just yet. Double eviction. Look at the pop for booting him. Can he evict Jed Armstrong? GG TFO. Kuda, get out of here. No, no, no. Now we'll see a fair fight, but all the damage has been done. Uh uh. Spins through. Duck under. Spear. Duck under. Got him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. F5. Let's go. Lands it. One, Covered. two, three. Yes. Gets the three. Delta retains. All is right in the world. Yes. Fantastic. What a match. And still, and still. Believe that that's going to be my match of the night right now. I believe was Delta's toughest challenge today. And that proved Delta followed by the I don't know, the the Armstrong, the Armstrong Bosso match was fire. I mean, they had hey, listen. I'm looking at the complete body of work. There was a, a flub in that at the very, you know, mid to the end of that match that I I can't look past when yeah. I'm looking at overall matches and overall performance. I believe this is number one. I believe the six man's number two. Delta's got the mic. Yeah, now we've got the big rumble coming up, but it's more important what Delta's got to say. Uh oh. Let's track this. What's Delta got on her mind? I want to thank 
each and every one of you for coming out tonight. You're the rowdy bunch! Now, before we get to the rumble, I've got something on my mind. Hold on, tell us, uh -oh. something to tell us. In January, uh -oh. I became the first ever Riot City Wrestling Grand Champion. That she did. That, that she did. did. And in my short reign, I have already defeated the pillars of RCW. Matt Basso, Chris Basso, and Jed Armstrong. <laughs> I'm on my path of becoming the best Riot City Wrestling Grand Champion there is. Well, you're the only one right now. And you know how the saying goes, to be the best, you gotta beat the best. Uh-oh, she's throwing a challenge out, and John. one person that comes to mind. <laughs> Redshaw. He's a former Riot City Wrestling Champion, and I want him to come out here right now. His name is Hater. Matt Hayter. Yep, yep. Oh. Hater. I'll say Matt Hayter is one of the best. Oh like, shit. He coming too. The old guard, but help Delta retain against Chris Basso. Yeah, he did. He was a huge assist at Virginia. And anyone who's lived through the rise of Matt Hayden. He does not look happy about being called out there. So he is one of the most consistent. Let's put up a shut up time for him. Explosive and one of the most outstanding performers we have here in this company. 100 percent agree with you. This one hundred percent agree. I've seen this guy since the day one. Yeah, Hater always talks a big game. And I have seen him right now face to face with the grand champion. Now, Matthew. All right, track this. Let me turn this back up real quick. I never got to formally thank you for coming to my aid when no one else did. But to me, words isn't enough. So I want to give you something more. I want to give you the opportunity to become a champion one more time. Oh. He's going to have something cocky as fuck to say, I know it. Before I address you, I just want to address everyone in attendance tonight. This has been one of the best crowds that Riot City Wrestling has seen in recent memory. Shout to the fans, good job, Hater. At the end of the day, the green, the white, the black that we represent that is Riot City Wrestling doesn't happen without you. Facts. So we thank everyone for coming out. We thank the Big Shed for hosting us. I hope Shout everyone has had a thousand beers. I hope we're having a good time. Now Delta. You want to offer me the chance to become a champion again? Yeah, you just had an opportunity earlier tonight. You are a history maker, a title taker, dominant force in Australian wrestling. You are one of a kind. You are so special. Everyone here in attendance can see it. All Everyone facts. backstage knows it. You earned that grand championship, not from help from anyone else, not from help from me, but you did it for you. When the story of Delta finishes in Riot City Wrestling, it'll finish because you decided. That's why That's I'm not going to accept you 
for that championship. Oh. Wow. Huh? What? That's a... That's a... Yeah, oh. Sure. Out of respects, no? That sounds like some... Some scared shit right there. I don't have to beat you to be a champion. And I'm not trying to be that guy. I mean, he's not wrong. I don't want to be the one that ends Delta in Riot City Wrestling. So the answer, if we want Delta versus Hater, is no. Oh, 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 mic drop. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about I that. Kind I kind of respect that. From Matt Hader. Sure. Whoa. A bit of a, a cocky, uh, yeah. I say arrogant. He was being a cocky douchebag like he should be, but he did it in a very not condescending way. He would have taken any opportunity to become the Riot City Wrestling Grand Champion. But it seems to me that Chris Basso really got to you. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. 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 words. Yeah. That's all you need to say. Chris Basso, oh. hater will come. <laughs> all I see is a broken-hearted, unmotivated, wimpy Matt Hater. Oh, yeah. She's trying to bait him. Delta trying to get in the mind. Yeah. And it makes me wonder Matt Hater. And knows exactly what buttons to push Is the Matt Hater that we all grew to love Still in there Or Did he die with Chris Basso Oh What an allocation from Telta I did not expect that Damn. Oh absolutely Shots fired Who would have thought Delta? You want to spit venom? You want to start talking about Chris? We all know why I am the way I am right now. And it's not because of that, it's because of Chris. But if I have to beat you to win that, to prove that I am still this company's man, I will. Oh, there we have it. So if you want to write checks that your ass can't cash, buddy, I'm going to take that championship and kick you out of Riot City Wrestling. Whoa! Look, look at Delta, she loves it. Oh, Delta here we go. Riot City, is that what Matt Hayter just said? Oh! Wow. I think we have a match, fellas. Wow. Yeah, she made that personal real Indeed quick. Indeed we do in May. It is Delta Ooh. and Matt Hayter for the Grand Championship. Damn. I, um, you know, and you talk about how you appreciated his reasoning for saying no. I, no, nah, I think that he got called out and he didn't want to take it because he knows he's going to get beat. Who can stop Delta? I don't I think, think that he felt that way. Uh, it's okay. You can, you can wave that flag all you want to. But we all know. If he really wanted a piece, he'd have stepped to the plate. Wouldn't have made an excuse. Well, I mean, he did. Uh, yeah, after he got called out. She called his bluff. Yeah. This has been a fantastic show. Dude, it always is, but this is a fire one, yeah. Still no Baron. I'm, I'm starting to wonder what's going on here. Here we go. This is your main event right here at Big Shed Brewing. This is going to be crazy. This is your main event for brutality. This is the Royal Park Rumble for the Big Shed Royal Park Rumble Championship. All right, here we go. Residents, make some noise! Oh, you get it! 
Tired Adelaide residents, make some bloody noise! It's been a long show, guys, and they've been cheering their asses off. So, yeah, this is going to have to get them pretty fired up. All right, fellas, it is time for the Whoa. World Introducing Rumble. Introducing the man who drew number one. Wow, number one down under. Oh, shit. He's already had one big fight tonight. Why well, he, he, I should have expected him to be in here for this. This 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 is right up his alley, man. Oh yeah, just a big ass brawl. It's your favorite. What are the For fuck's sake. You're I hope the fuck down under puts him out of the match so fast. Why? That's your boy. It's not my boy. That's totally your He's boy. He's already passing out demerits. John, you were just telling me The whole me crowd gets demerits. Who told me right before we took the air that you were hoping that Cliff walked away with this? Stop fucking fronting. I was not ever saying that. You totally were. I did not. You can't prove I did. That's right. Our mics were muted. See? While we're on the topic of things I said, you know, I'd like to give a big shout out. It is Paul Roma's birthday. Happy birthday to Paul Roma. It sure is. Oh, uh, there's an old tweet sent out on the Orndorf account that, uh, I saw that earlier. The man that, uh, that made pretty wonderful pretty, apparently. That's what he said. All right, we got Hugh Beauty. I have not seen this guy before. This is new to me. I don't think we've seen one of these matches before, John, so I'm trying to figure out, is this like a battle royal or? I think so, yeah. It's a rumble. Okay. They said something about the belt being at the bar or something, so I was kind of Yeah, curious. it's the bar's championship. That's why it's the main event. The Big Shed has the Big Shed Rumble Championship. It's only defended at the Big Shed. It's only defended by the guy that, that has it. So whenever they have a big show going on, the champion comes and they do a, a rumble match for the main event. Makes sense. Cutthroat in the match. His tag partner in the old guard is the champion right now. Interesting to see how that plays out. Same. Wonder if they work together to keep that belt around Dean Brady's waist or not. You'd have to think that they're definitely coming in that way. I mean, he's eyeing that title like he wants to take it home and take a bite out of it, so. The ring announcer is not doing a great job there. A little, a little apprehensive, it seems. All right, so we're going to start with four. Oh, Even Cutthroat yeah. doesn't want anything to do with Mr. Cliff. Oh, Hugh Beauty just eats a right hand and fucking plants him. Cliff and down under in the corner. I love seeing this. They had a pretty good fight at the frame. He's trying to get... Yeah, dude, that was a great brawl. I'm a, I'm a Hugh Beauty fan. He's a... Oh, if he's trying to eliminate Cutthroat, I'm a Hugh Beauty fan too. Wow, that's awesome. Go check him out in... Me too. ...wrestling league there here on YouTube as well. Oh, it's 
We got our next competitor making his way to ringside. Oh, James Cray. Ducks under. Mr. Cliff getting a moment away from down under. He's all about that. Come on, Aussies. Aussie, you Big double Aussie. leg. You beauty. Measuring James Cray. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh oh. What is he doing? He's shining it up. Can he get a bit of spin on him? I think he's trying to get the bowling ball going. The line and the leg. How's that? How's that? The crowd are giving it out. James Cray is out. Oh, Mr. Cliff says no. Oh, no, Detention. oh. I need somebody to seriously work a spot into the match where Cliff is down. You reach into his pocket, you take a demerit, and you cram it down his throat. And then you just scream out, That's for you guys in the States. I will pop so hard. So hard. Cray is over the top. He's out. Hugh Booty with his first elimination eats that clothesline and goes right over. Way to scream over me. That's competitor coming out. Oh, hey, we've seen we've seen several things with him over the last couple of months. He's pretty impressive. Aaron only. Yep. Comes flying in from the outside with a big double drop kick. Wasn't he a part of the key to the city match at French as well? He was. That's what yep. I thought. And he got his uh, he got his way there on the student show. Oh, six one nine. Oh. Correct. Okay, just making sure. Oh, there he goes. He's out. Hugh Beauty goes over the top. Oh. Oh. Did he miss? Um, I thought he got him in the uh, gut, but apparently not. I did too. Uh, that's a little bit much to be trying to get up top there, boss. Okay. Joey Graham. I'm All right. I'm liking seeing some new faces that we haven't seen. Ooh. I'd imagine that Big Shed is a is a venue that you could get a lot of other talent that isn't normally on your roster for. Sends down under right into into cutthroat. Everybody out of the way. Oh. That was rough. Yeah, only had no idea what was going on. All right. Look at this guy go. Cliff with that stick. Oh. The ruler. Oh, my God. Mr. Cliff can't believe it. Surely you should have gone for a third. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere, boss. Beautifully done oh. right there. And Mr. Cliff is not a small man. That is a feat of power. And Cliff oh. holds on, but gets kicked right in the fucking face. To the floor he goes. Thank you, sir. Oh, shit. Grim makes his way to the ring now. Oh, only not the move oh. to make. I give him credit for the balls to do it, but Jesus. Bye. Thanks for coming. He was lucky he didn't make it into the fans. Damn. Grim's got hands for everybody in this bitch. Somehow I have a feeling that's not currying over here. Yeah, 
Oh well, no, they're gonna square. They're like, let's shake hands and we're gonna go at it. Let's go. It'd be hilarious if uh, Red Shot was out next. It is. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna see the three big men dominate, then go at it. This is gonna be great. He's pointing the ring. He's like, "Yeah, I like this. This can work." Welcome with open arms. Kareem says, "Hey, hang on a second. What a draw here for these guys." Yay! Yeah. Hang on, you still got Joey Graham and Cutthroat in the ring there. It's been only last for so long, too, fellas. Oh, oh double low blow. Low blow, low blow to Grim. <laughs> and down Red under. Red shot with the knee to the mouth. This one for all the marbles for this. I think Cutthroat's about to fuck around and find out. Oh, yep. God, yeah. This is not great. Ugh. Oh, wait a second. Running power slam by Red Shaw. Graham comes up behind him. Apparently, him and Redshaw have some history. To face off with, I wouldn't like to be in Joey Graham's position right now. Look at Joey just negotiating his way out. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. I don't know if diplomacy is going to work. Oh no, Joey said let's all just bloody go at it. It did work. All right. Diplomacy works. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. Hold on, wait. We're Redshaw. I'll tell you what. Worst comes to worst, just punch on. No, we're going in. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, there's no real room for alliances here in Rumble matches. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Royal Park Rumble Championship. Oh, double clotheslines all around. It's calamity right now. Yeah, everybody's on the mat here. Wait a second. Oh, my God. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Ooh, let me mute that. Tell me when the song goes off. <laughs> right? We have not, uh, they, uh, he has not been in Riot in a while. He's from back before we started watching the product. And you're clear on the sound. All right. Cutthroat with those low blows. He got he caught. caught. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, double throat thrust. Just kicked his head off. If anybody saw where his skull went, you might want to return that to the ring, please. Over and out he goes. Easy money for him. But now Graham's got Grim tied up on the rope. Uh oh. Uh oh. He is over, but. Comes back through. All right. Oh, it's the, it's the current it's champ. Yeah, he's coming to de defend his crown. Defend the defend it to all oh, big Larry. It turns him inside out. Spear. Down under sees Brady. Graham's going over I'm waiting. and out. I'm waiting to see what's gonna happen here if Dean Brady and Redshaw square off. And here it comes. Uh oh. Oh shit. No, no, no. Yeah, five off on Redshaw. Oh man. Over he goes. Our boy is out, and Brady's on fire here. Grim's right behind him, though. He's two on one in there now. Oh, we got somebody else coming in. Oh, guys. Wow. 
Scorch. We saw him at the training academy. Roster member is Scorch. We saw Scorch and Grim go to war at Mean Street Mayhem a couple months ago. Coming out to save. Oh, nice DDT. Save Grim. Nice DDT. Here he goes. That was clean. Oh no, Scorch hangs on, guys. No! Come on, Scorch! Scorch hangs on. Very close. Wow. Dean Brady thinks he's eliminated. Scorch. Yeah, Scorch has got to get back. Topple him off. Let's go. Do it. The way he got hung up in those ropes, you can see he's done a lot of damage now. Dean Brady turns his attention on Grim. Yeah, that must have taken a lot out of Scorch. Those, those ropes the are ground. dangerous. You can break an arm in between those ropes. Yeah. That is elevator cable in between. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Scorch really got hung Massive there. right forearms going traded here. We've got both members of the old guard taking it to Grimm. Yeah, numbers game. Yeah. Two on one with Grim. This is going to be rough. We're down to the countdown. Yeah, we've only got a few left. This is not a About to have another competitor. Only 15 competitors. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, oh! She has already changed into other gear. And she is out of her colors. Hold on, what is Violet Blitz doing here? New look, Violet Blitz. Just a salt scorch right off rip. Nice. This is what we need to find out. What is the story with Violet Blitz? Where does she stand? Violet Blitz is carving out a path of her own. Scorch close again. Look, she's here. Scorch, oh, is, scorch. scorch is still Thanks not down. There he goes. Now he's out. Now let's see where her alliances lie. Lay waste to the old guard. Dean Brady could be eliminated. Could be eliminated. No, he hangs on. No. Oh God. Pulls out Grim. Oh no. What's Violet gonna do? Which side she gonna take? Push them both. Oh, oh low blow. Basso, and he's gone. He's gone. Violet Blitz has eliminated. Wow, that's gonna show in the record books. Violet Blitz has eliminated Grim. Oh my God. Oh. But she just kicked oh, Cutthroat in the chest. Look at what it is. Oh. Izzy Shaw. Izzy. Izzy Shaw. Oh shit. The love of my life, Izzy Shaw. Come on, Izzy. Oh, boot to the midsection. Oh, nice. Exploder. My fiance, Izzy Shaw. She nice suplex it. by Izzy. Look at her calling the guys on in. She is not afraid of anyone. No, absolutely not. I've known Izzy probably longer than you, Angus. Most likely, Paul Roberts, <laughs> most likely. Izzy Shaw, no fear. Uh -oh. Taking it to the old guard, but oh no. Oh, clever. Oh, oh shit. Oh, what a great clever. move by Izzy. Ha. Oh. Watch out, Violet Blitz from behind. Izzy sends into the corner. Izzy Shaw's got a Violet. Sidestep. Got to stand up to Violet Blitz. Oh no, Izzy, come on. Look at I wonder if this is the story they're gonna work out of this. Oh shit! Oh. To the floor she goes. Two eliminations for Violet Blitz. Three eliminations for Violet Blitz. Three. Uh oh. Hang on a second. Oh shit. It's Banjo. That's Banjo. Banjo power. They're gonna face off right here. And he is still feeling the effects of this match earlier on today. He is definitely gonna want some answers. But he's not looking around, he's going top right straight away. Banjo! Oh Link's in his tight down! Hurricane Rana? Sends Brady across the ring, ducks under, big single leg. Oh. The last entrance? I don't know. And now he's gonna make Violet Blitz pay. She betrayed him earlier tonight. Come on, Banjo. Sweet. Oh, oh clubbed in the back by Brady. Come on. Brady with that action. She hasn't really aligned with the old guard though. No, she kicked uh, Cutthroat earlier, and Cutthroat just threw her. Yeah, out I away. saw that. Banjo's the last entrant. What's going to happen if they eliminate him? Well, then it's, it's all three of them. They have to decide who's going to win this thing. And uh, believe me, there, there will be some uh, some chaos if that happens. But Banjo Powers have to persist. Surely Dean Brady wants to retain the Royal Park Rumble. Come on, Banjo. His ribs are taped up. So 
Oh, oh, she ate the elbow. elbow. Cut her yes, at the kid. Did. Jesus. On a banjo count is Go Big! Gets Brady up. Banjo says, Go to sleep. Oh, oh he yeah. hit it. GTS. Gets the go to sleep. And now turns his attention back to Violet Blitz. He's got Violet uh -oh. up on the shoulders. GTS. No, 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 no. Violet sent over the top. Oh. I don't know if Violet has. Uh, Oh shit. Somebody's gonna knock her off. The old guy yep. did. Violet is out. A short lived alliance with the old guy comes to an end. And now Banjo. Oh no, Jay Brady! The champ is. Banjo pulls the rope and Brady's out. Wait, there's no referee. We ain't guaranteed a new Royal Park winner. Oh, Banjo, look at this. Get me in, show it. Can Banjo Powers do it? Come on, Banjo! No, gets oh, caught by no. Cutthroat. Dean Brady has already caught. snuck in the ring. Yeah, of course he did. Parallel. Hey, wait, Banjo! Oh. Banjo hangs on! Banjo! He does yeah. it! Banjo, Banjo pulls him over, and he Cutthroat's Banjo out. Your winner. No! It's not over for Banjo Brady doesn't... Powers, yeah, the ref doesn't know Brady's out. Brady's still competing. Could we see Banjo actually pull this? I would love that. Oh, he landed on his feet. Did he not get eliminated? His feet might not have touched the ground. Acid drop. Got his ass. Now put him over. Let's go, Banjo. Let's go. Come on now. As it appears, Dean Brady is still in this. Come on, Banjo. Now between Dean Brady and Banjo Powers. We, we thought he was gone. It looked like Come on, Banjo. Absolutely. Now it is one on one here. Two men left. It's Dean Brady, the current champ. If he holds on to this, he's still... Trying really hard to get Dean over, but that's going to be a lot more of a fight than you think it is. Oh. Oh. No. We have two referees out here. I thought one of them would have seen it. Stiff pump. Dude, boot in the face there. Hold on. Dean Brady. Brady. Banjo counters. Counter. Banjo. Double leg. Hold on. <coughs> Hold on. Dean Brady. Over the top. Yeah. Definitely he holds he's on. He's got the ropes. Oh, the Skins the cat. Banjo Powers. Lucky. Turns around. Catches Dean Brady. Oh, for the GTS. No, no, no. Banjo. Counter. Connects. Gets caught. Dean Brady catches Banjo Powers now. Oh, what an uppercut shot. Oh, Damn, that one. That was stiff. How? Yeah, he sent Banjo away in the air before he connected with that European. He should have been decapitated. How is Dean Brady still in this match for the Royal Park Rumble Championship? Guys, I have no idea. I have no idea. Side oh, that's it. Banjo got him. And he's out. Banjo wins. Yes. I love it. I love it. It's a hell of a story for Banjo tonight. Banjo with the win. <laughs> Still a lot of questions to answer though with Blitz. Yeah, absolutely. They've got to have a promo with her next show. Oh, there's got to be. There's definitely gonna be some follow-up. What a what a win. Massive win for Banjo here. I'm glad to see it. For joining us on the YouTube, make sure you check out all the Riot City Wrestling social media. We have a brand new Royal Park Rumble winner. That we do. That we do. Extra powers. Banjo powers. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get down to Trial by Stone. On behalf of myself, the real voice of Australian wrestling, along with the gladiator, Big Brody Marshall, and of course the historian Angus R. Dacey. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, wait, well, Banjo's going to speak. Got something to say. He's got something to say. Let's, Let's track this. We go. Listen to this crowd. No, oh, they love this. They, they were absolutely happy about him winning, even though this is what we're dealing with. I don't know what's going on with Violet Blitz. But I can tell you this.
I'm the new Big Shed champion! Damn, Damn right, right you Andrew are. Powers. Absolutely. And I'd like to dedicate this win to my best friend. Party guy Ty. Yep. He's unfortunately been a bit sick. So I got one message for him. Yo, party guy! I did it! Nice Rocky throwback. Yeah! I'd like to thank you all for coming. It's been a hell of a night, wouldn't you say? And I'd love to do it again with you all sometime. Ladies and gentlemen, we are RCW! And this is the big shit! What a show. Yeah, fans, you do your job. You know the assignment. Everybody get home safely. I love you all. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from the Magic Power! We can't thank you enough. Nice. insane show that was great that was fantastic that was that was a solid solid show i don't i mean i'm still leaning on uh on uh, on delta and jet as as match of the night uh with the six man following uh and then you know i really liked that that battle royal too i thought there was some some interesting things happening i'm kind of shocked we didn't get a clydesdale run in a little, yeah, I was also I was wondering if he was going to be one of the competitors too. When we started seeing the other guys from the school, I was like, "Oh, are we going to get another Clydesdale appearance?" But no, not tonight, unfortunately. No, it did not happen. Uh, but overall, nothing again, from Baron, no. nothing from Clydesdale. Clydesdale, I'm like, okay with. There's, there's a lot of questions. Um, Clydesdale, I'm okay with. Uh, Baron, I'm I'm really really starting to wonder what's going on there. Um, Katie Trey pulling the win over Amber, uh, and Amber cutting his hair, like cutting the the law. I mean, there's a lot going on story wise, and a lot to unpack. Um, curious to see if they play that finish into the Basso Armstrong thing, stretch that out a little bit longer. Um, Red Shaw, you know, kind of interested to see what happens with him. Where's he going? What's the next evolution? I mean, just a lot of good work all the way around. Some new faces are, are you know, not necessarily new faces, but uh, seeing some, some of the older legacy guys that have been through Riot City before come back for the Battle Royal and get the couple, get a couple of slots. That was good to see. Um, solid. I, it, I, I got nothing else to say. It was fucking fantastic. Yeah, end, end to end, bell to bell, that was a phenomenal show. I don't know if it's my favorite one that they've put on. Uh, that ladder collider, our first experience, was pretty intense. Uh, we've seen some really good shows from them. Every time we get shows from Riot City, it's a must-see. Uh, a little-known fact for the fans, I had sent the, the link when it came out on Friday. Within 10 minutes, Paige had sent me the link, and I was like, dude, I just sent you that. So we're both on the radar for sure for Riot City. Whenever they post a show, we've got that for you guys. You know that we will be sharing it. Uh, it's it's a must-see TV for us here on the channel, and I'm glad that we got another one in the books. That makes me very happy. I was uh, I saw the premiere. Like I was up, I was up when it was premiering, and uh, I had to fight myself to yep not watch as it as always. Uh, actually, I did. I watched a little piece of it. I dropped in their live chat and uh, just, you know, told them to keep up the good work uh, on their premiere chat. It was so then I popped right back off because I didn't want to see anything. Uh, but it's good stuff. Uh, we're gonna be back on Thursday night with a wrestling spotlight. Uh, I haven't figured out what we're gonna do yet, John. I think we got about a maybe two weeks before we got to start pumping out some of the spotlights for July or June. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, I did hit up Lexi because she cashed in a, a spotlight show to see, uh, you know, if she had anybody in mind. But uh, we'll do that at 7 p.m. on Thursday. Keep your uh, 
your eyes peeled to social media. I'll be making some drops and, and announcing what we're going to do on Thursday night, but it'll be somebody. Uh, Eric and I will be here Saturday morning at 7.30 a.m. Uh, for a territory or a rivalry. We may do a rivalry. I don't know. We may do a legend show. We did a legend show last Saturday, so we'll probably do a, a rivalry. Um, Goth and I will be here at 3 p.m. on Sunday for Wrestling Request Live. Uh, get in our Discord server for that. Actually, John's going to tell you how to do all that in just a second. Uh, and next Friday night, one more time, guys, I will be here at 7.30, or excuse me, 7 p.m., not 7.30, thinking about something else. 7 p.m. next Friday night, we'll be watching No Holds Barred. John, take us home, man. Well, as you mentioned, you know, that Discord server is how you get behind the curtain with us. You get early access to our YouTube VODs and all the stuff we've got coming out on the channel. We talk about all of the things we're passionate about with wrestling and the things that you're passionate about with wrestling. You can get in on the Wrestle Request live board, drop matches that you want us to check out, things that you're passionate about, things that you enjoy in the business and in the indies. If you will, go down below, follow the links to the Discord, get behind the curtain with us because we've got all sorts of new products coming out all the time behind this curtain. Our, uh, our staff is definitely cranking out ideas, and we've got all sorts of stuff in the pipeline coming at you over the next several months. You guys know exactly where the Savage Elbows go, right there on that ding bell, so you never miss a beat of what we got going on behind this curtain. And as always, we love each and every one of your faces. We'll see you again next time.